little one. This is your first day. Your designation will be RP-01-138. We expect great things from you. Star Wars Republic Commando is a tactical first-person shooter released on Xbox and PC, developed and published by LucasArts. A sharp mind can be the key to survival. The more mature Star Wars game revolves around Delta Squad, a special ops unit within the Galactic Republic's clone army consisting of four genetically enhanced clone troopers. And in this regard, you will be superior to your more common brethren. Players assume the role of the squad's leader, RC-1138, and complete various missions during the Clone Wars. For you are a commander, an elite unit, something truly special. Your weapons, your armor, and most importantly, your brothers. Players can also indirectly control the action of their squad mates by issuing different commands, which allows for every situation to be more tactical, strategic and more personal. New gunship, okay, group B, let's move it! Let's go, push those cannons to the stern! Load the ammo and the ordnance, let's go, let's go! At the beginning of the Clone Wars, the four members of the squad are deployed during the Battle of Geonosis and tasked with the assassination of Sun Fuck, the Chief Lieutenant of Geonosian Archduke and Separatist Council member Poggle the Lesser. Welcome to Geonosis 38. It's nice to see they finally unhooked you from the simulators. I've been assigned as your advisor and will be your eye in the sky until further notice, or we all get killed. Roger that. Upon successfully terminating their target, Delta Squad is retasked with several other objectives that were originally assigned to other clone commando teams that had been lost to enemy ambushes. As the war drags on, Delta Squad continues to undertake dangerous missions. Reading weapons down the target. The heads-up display shows the player character's helmet with a tactical visor, showing the high levels of violence, such as blood spatters with melee knife kills, exploding geonosians, and head removal with sniper headshots, making sure to give the player a different view of the Star Wars universe. Hey, I didn't know geonosians could fly! 1138 and squad mates do not die when they run out of health, but rather are incapacitated. If 1138 is down, the player can order the squad members to attempt to revive him or to continue with the current orders. The game is over when the player and all members of the squad are incapacitated at once or when the player is downed in a position that squad mates cannot reach. Certain missions may require squad members to split up to accomplish various isolated objectives. And in such scenarios, where the player is operating alone, losing all the player's health also results in a game over. Order, Republic Commando is notable for being the first entry in the official Star Wars game series to feature licensed music. The song Clones, performed by the band Ash, is played when the credits roll. soundtrack is a break from convention of previous Star Wars games that used versions of John Williams' original score, instead using a combination of Williams' music and new music composed by Jesse Harlan. This new music takes on a high-paced, pretty and vocal theme to the traditional Star Wars score, with its goal to present a very dark and military take on the Star Wars universe from the point of view of disposable grunts. The Vode On theme, as well as several other key music pieces, have additional lyrics in the Mandalorian language. It was these lyrics that further inspired author Karen Travis to develop the Mandalorian language in a fully working language. 
Command store breach. Aye, sir. During development, a sequel was already being planned but was cancelled in 2004 with only as far as concept art and sketches made. The game was titled Star Wars Imperial Commando and was based on the betrayal of Republic soldiers. Tie-in books were written by Karen Travis, titling the fifth and final novel Star Wars Imperial Commando 501st, after the cancelled sequel. After the Walt Disney Company's acquisition of Lucasfilm, most of the licensed Star Wars novels, comics and video games produced were rebranded as Star Wars Legends and declared non-canon to the franchise going forward. Republic Commando was among the projects affected by this, as the events in the campaign would no longer be considered canon. The game's characters remained canon thanks to Delta Squad's inclusion in Witches of the Mist, an episode from the third season of the 2008 animated series Star Wars The Clone Wars. When we originally shot this episode, the group of clones that brought back the bodies of the two um, dead Jedi were not uh, Republic Commandos. It occurred to me this would be really good if it was these commandos that were bringing back the bodies of these Jedi. So I felt very strongly that the fans um, deserved it. You know, I wanted to put the commandos in for a while, and here was the opportunity. Everyone was killed, including Master Halsey and his Padawan. In the past, only Dooku's assassin was capable of such an effort. But she was presumed dead at the Battle of Sullust. They're, of course, already designed, which made it really easy for us to, to follow. We had these maquettes that really gave us a great guide. Uh, I talked to some of the guys that had made the Republic Commandos game. They were still at LucasArts. Um, Joel Aaron, my CG supervisor, was getting these shots in, and he had had this idea that, what if we had them arrive in the rain? And I thought, ah, Joel, that would be great. But, uh, you know, rain and water and Clone Wars haven't really been the best of friends over the years. But Joel has just been breaking new ground constantly with um, effects in this series. and. <laughs> When that shuttle door opens and water's dripping off it and in the rain, it just sets the perfect mood um, for the sequence. And uh, the fans, judging from the reaction in Celebration 5, really appreciated it. One of the squad members, Scorch, later reappeared in War Mantle, a Star Wars The Bad Batch episode. The helmet head up display design from the game was also briefly seen in the series. Republic Commando received favorable reviews at release, with praise directed at its story, character and combat, although some criticized the short length of the campaign and the average multiplayer in which player could play with up to 60 players online in different multiplayer modes. But over the years, the game has come to be considered one of the best Star Wars games ever made, along with gaining a cult following. Okay, 